Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share this amazing uh, portfolio website with you. As you see, it's a portfolio website besides also is working kind of like a blog. So everything is right there and I'm going to share the code and repository. Everything you're going to get free and I'm going to show what kind of feature we are having in it and how to configure those. First of all, we have a header where we have our logo, we have our other tab, services, projects, blog, about, contact, and also the sidebar as the login. Now, as you see, we're having a little bit of uh, intro here. Hi, I am a Christian Ronald. And then other things you can hire, you can go through the projects and how many clients. Even if you just reload, those things is just, you see, it's counting, calculating the value here. So you have the clients worldwide, project done, and the contact number. Then we have the projects and little bit introductory things here. And this is fully responsive, by the way. If you just click here, as you see, it's working perfectly on the responsive mode. So all the things it will work uh, perfectly aligned the way you are just looking at so first of all if we also having that image in the right side which is entering a section over there this header is a stick and having a very good opacity that blur is there on the header section after this uh, banner we are having here for our like a little bit intro about the digital creativity and then we can have the no coding needed finish quality you can scan a kind of like the things which can explore what kind of services you can provide then what you do you can do with the design branding innovative or solutions so you can add your tagline add your details how that can happen and after that also there is the project so that's showcasing your uh, projects which can be done there and if we click in the projects it will take back to the project link right now i just keep in my this thing here but you can just uh, interlink your own project link the way you are looking forward and after that we're also having the testimony if you just toggle through it you see the different testimony and the last one is getting just inactive and you can just go through the previous one and it's also working perfectly aligned you have the title you have the uh, like details and whoever giving you that testimonials then we have our feature blog section here whenever you click on the blog it will take you in the single blog post and by the way as you see you can read through the blog and on that a paid version here which also the link i will share for you you can get this entire things but i'm going to skip that uh, like the login integration part because uh, so that you can easily get through that things done and also you can get the other blocks right here and if you click and that header it will just take back you to directly in that project layer now from there in the footer we have our useful links we have our overview we have our resources everything looks perfectly aligned you can just click on that and it will just directly take back to your github repo you just need to change the link that's all others each and everything it just combined and all this block parameter and services is just coming okay i need to just go with the continue here because that's i'll access my studio here so you can see my studio here from where i'm just uploading my a uh, post uploading the category and each and everything it just digging down from there so it's just for you if you want to go in advanced layer for the blogging segment but otherwise all of the things is right here in the repo you can click on the services you get back to the services page where you can load it your project also you can go through the projects you can go through the blog data here you can just go toggle through with that blog categories with the company wise and with the other parameters with the nature and others so if the blog is available it will show otherwise it will show the empty things then it's showcasing the about section it's just kind of little bit nice things which you're gonna say about you bit of things how you are and what kind of things you do then we're having our contact form and this contact form is working perfectly aligned which we are maintaining with that get form.io and then we are also having a login authentication form again i'm saying referring if you are going to purchase that production link things only then it would be applicable otherwise you will go through the whatever the things required to entertain that uh, portfolio you're gonna have it and how you can get the code right now first of all this is the repo which I'm gonna share it with you so it's right now is private so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it as for the public repo here so that you can access it okay so i make that repo as a uh, public right now so you can access that as you see it's public now first things first you need to clone that one how we can do that so i copy that link 
then i have one folder here named build folder an empty folder what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just drag it to open in my terminal and then you need to have install git within your project and also the node.js to run the entire things so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run a simple command which will be git clone then enter whatever the things i am ri having right here so now it's going to clone my entire projects and as you see it's cloning and i am having just receiving each and everything if i put ls i'm now cloned that one perfectly you can just go into cd into let's say that portfolio uh christian portfolio you can just copy that one from there and then we can just go through cd into it okay uh, i think i missed the c okay and now if i put alice i'm within my project so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open it within my code editor i'm using the vs code maybe you can use a different code editor that's just up to you okay so yeah trust the author and then the first thing what i need to do is that install the dependency and as i'm using the npm if you're using the yarn or pnpm just simple things just remove that package that uh dash log the json file then use it so what i'm gonna do npm i to install all the dependency so you can also do the same thing and there is one thing you need to remember because for the blog and other purposes we are having that next sanity project id we need to uh, like get that next sanity public uh, data set and also api token otherwise you cannot upload the property and other things so let's just give it a time to install all the dependency while it's installing we can just go through explore a bit of our entire things first of that the package.json file so that's are all the package which we use okay i need to make it bigger so you can see it properly okay so that's the live that's the package which are uh, maintaining all the libraries we are using that uh, as you can see we are using headless ui using that djs our ambla carousel motion and an sanity and also count up and others and by the way we also using that shell chain ui to creating the ui integration here then you can see here all the types all the sanity configuration file right here and you don't need to worry about it that's just configure for you that's the folder which generating all the sanity configuration you can just go and see the schema types alt schema like author schema block content category also comment is right there you can integrate it if you are one or two and after that we are having our public folder right now it's nothing there we have our node modules then we have our leaf folder where we are running one equals file and then we have our constants so all the constant like uh, the static data we are just keeping it right from here then we have our components where we in the ui is all are for the shed chain ui and other data is right there and for the blog especially we're creating that one then we have our assets so all the images it will be available for you then we have our app one for client one for our admin so everything is installed and you see the studio is maintained for our sanity configuration and in the client we have our all the directory right here so from the login to others all are right here you can just have it now a simple command to run our application npm run dev which going to start spinning our application in our localhost 3000 let's just make it a bigger okay so let's open that in our localhost 3000 and i'm gonna just hide that okay so after opening that you're gonna see your application is spinning and for the sanity if you doesn't have an account and if you don't know how to configure that you can just go in a sanity.io and from there you can go and create your own account after creating you're gonna see that logo and from there you can go directly within your manage projects or in the dashboard and pretty much simple things need to be considerably right now that you need to uh, configure you need to create your application like a new project and then you need to go uh, to uh, grab that the id so as you see that's just having a problem right now is because it's the configuration property here if you see in dot env we need to have that three separate things one is the next public sanity project id another is next public sanity data set for right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just use my previous account things because i just want it to be configured that one and if you having any problem let me know in the comments i will track it down and let you know how to configure that i, I believe you you know if you are following me for a long long time you know how to configure sanity and getting all of those things so as you see 
I did nothing, only just to implement that configuration and I have all of those, right? And for you, maybe you will not particularly like, okay, we'll create a new application, okay? Just to be uh, showcasing to you. Okay, let's say just a test application and create that project, okay? I will not create any other property, just grabbing that data set from here. So now, as you see, I'm creating the application and then here as you see that project id i'll just copy that okay just remember i'm just getting that project id from here which and i'll copy that and then instead of this one because the uh, data set which it will be directly rendering on that uh like the production as you see now it doesn't have that block parameter also if you click on the blog it doesn't have that blog and it will be empty there it's because also you see the login because we are not using that our comment that's why i just skip the login but you know the code is right there so you can use the code if you want to go here you can just go and feel free to go and authenticate all the scenario here you just need to create the other parameter like uh, if you just uh, feel free to follow here i think i can just showcase to you uh, did i bring that out no you just need to configure with that uh, next auth like alt js and it will work you see the alt which i'm not using that's why i didn't uh, keep it there but you can just simply go with that to alt js and here you can just search for how to configure that you can just click on get started and from there next js and then you just configure that and do the things how you wish for so you know how to do that so now as you see everything is working here perfectly aligned and responsiveness is working also perfectly so nothing is abandoned here all are perfectly well so that's the code you're gonna have it for sure i'm gonna share it with you and if you want to get uh, for other like the production level grid you can just feel free to come on that link here and then you can just grab that uh, project so which it will be i'll provide the link and also i will provide that link for that github repo which you can configure and have it within your arsenal so i think it's uh, the way you can configure that and i think that's all from me right now if you're having any inquiry if you're facing any trouble let me know in the comments i'll reach you out and try to help you so feel free to configure it use it and deploy it and also in uh, another video i'll showcase how you can deploy that in Versal. so if you're having any question let me know in the comments and please do subscribe to the channel so all the best see you in next video